Hello everyone, welcome to day 27th of April Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anchor Rudeja, I am working as software developer for at Adobe and today I present day 666 of daily lead code question. The problem that we have in today is smallest string with swaps. Here in this question, we are given an input string S and we are also given an array of pairs that represents the two indexes that can be swapped. What we need to do, we need to identify the lexicographically smallest string that can be generated by performing these swaps across these pairs array and you can do it any number of times. Here they have provided us with few examples. I'll be walking you through these examples as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 1202 smallest string with swaps. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, I feel it's a lot tricky. I would want to rate this question in hard category. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything in general from me, please feel free to ping on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. I'll be more than happy to assist you with any of your queries. Even before jumping on to the core algorithm, let's try to extract the maximum out of the question. I have taken a slightly different example. Let's assume that the input string that is given to us happens to be A, B and C and the pairs array that is given to us is 0, 1, 0, 2. So you can swap the 0th position with the first position any number of times or you can swap 0th position with the second position any number of times. And let's try to think of what all strings can be generated out of it. We have the input string as A, B, C. A stands for 0th index, B stands for 1st index and C stands for 2nd index. If you carefully observe, then we can generate all possibilities of ABC using the data that we have, the input string as ABC and the swapping pair as 0, 0,1 and 0, 0,2. How and why I am saying this? Let's see that in action. So you have the input string as ABC. In the first row, what do you do? You swap the 0th index with the 1st index. So these two get swapped. You get BAC. And in the second go, what do you do? You swap 0 with 2. So when you swap 0 with 2, what do you get? You get C, A, B. That means we have generated two possibilities, B, A, C, C, A, B and A, B, C was the original string. Now what we can, what we should do? Let's swap uh, the 0th index with the first index over here. So what do you get? You get B, C, A. That means the both the possibilities of a string starting with B has been covered. The first one is BAC and the second one is BCA. Now let's do some more permutations and here in this case what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap the second character with the 0th one. And what do I get? I get ACB. So both the strings starting with A gets covered. We have ABC and we have ACEB. Now let me just do it one more time and this time I'm going to swap the 0th character with the first one. What do I get? I get CAB and if you carefully observe then again we are able to generate both possibilities of string starting with C. Uh, here the first string is CAB, the second string is CBA. So both have been covered and overall you will see that we are able to generate all possibilities of string. So let's form groups here and the third one is this one that is highlighted in red. So overall using this data you are able to generate all possibilities of the input string and if you have understood this concept you are very close to the actual algorithm. What I am trying to say let's look at step 2 of the algo. Now let's take a slightly different example and understand the entire algo. So the input string let's assume happens to be E, D, A, B, C and the pairs that can be swapped comes out to be 0, 0,2, 0, 0,3 and 1,4. So if I ask you guys what will be the lexicographically smallest string, what would be the answer? The answer would be A, C, B, E and D. You can check it on lead code that corresponding to this string and this pair set the answer would be this. Now from the previous analysis that we did, what we, we should do, we should go ahead and form groups and for forming groups, what is the best possible way? Union find is the best possible way. So I'll apply union find approach onto this input string and the pairs that are given to me and I'll go ahead and form groups over it. 
so once the groups are formed 0 2 and 3 will point to 0 as the parent and in 1 comma 4 uh, 1 will point to 1 4 will also point to 1 uh, if you find this parent concept a little new I'm attaching the link in the description below to the union find playlist where I've clearly explained the algorithm. You can refer to that, but the intent here is to form groups of all the pairs that can be swapped together. So what result do we get after this grouping has been performed? The first group contains zero, two and three in IDs. That means the values at the zeroth index, the second index and the third index can be swapped together and the values at 1 comma 4 can be swapped together in any number of times that you want to do. So once you have this information, what you should do, you should go ahead and extract those characters. So what is the zeroth character? The zeroth correct character happens to be E. So we get the first character as E. The second character happens to be A. The third character happens to be B. And what we should do, we are interested in identifying the lexicographically smallest one. So let's swap these up. So what do you get? You get A, you get B, you get E. And this gives us the order in which these characters will be consumed whenever you see indexes 0, 2 or 3. Similarly, let's do it for 1 comma 4 case as well. So what are the characters at the first index? It is D. The fourth index happens to be C. And let's sort them up. What do you get? You get C comma D. So whenever you see the index as 1 or 4, you should use the characters in this particular order that we have generated. Similarly, whenever you see the index as 0, 2 or 3, you should use the characters in this particular order that we have generated. And now it's time to derive the final answer. Let me just change the color of pen and let's build the answer. The first index that we see happens to be 0. So 0 is part of which group? It is part of these, this group. So which character are you going to use? You'll use the one which has the least value. Uh, the least value is a so you'll add a over here let's proceed ahead next we see is one so which character are you going to use you will choose the group which is which corresponds to this one and here the char first character is c so you'll use c next let's proceed ahead next we see is two two belongs to which group two belongs to this group so which character are you going to use this time you will shoot for b because a has already been consumed so let's go ahead and write b let's proceed ahead next we see is c three so 3 belongs to which group? It belongs to this group. So which character are you going to use? You will go on to use E. So E gets added. And in the last you have the index as 4. 4 belongs to which group? It belongs to this one. And which character are you going to use? You will use D. And let's go ahead, add, ahead and add D to it. So this is in sync with our expectation. And uh, this is our expected result. We have the final string as A, C, B, E, D. A, C, B, E, D. Which is as expected. Now let's look at the coding section and I'll use my union find te template which I always use for forming groups and the rest of the algorithm will be the same as I have just talked here. So let's quickly hop on to it. So here I've create, casted my input string into character format so that I can do easy manipulation over it. Then I go ahead and I create a map and this map will be of type integer comma priority queue of set of characters. So the integer will represent the parent ID and the characters will represent all the set of all the characters that corresponds to that parent id this will help us in fo the formation of groups so uh, all characters that map to the same parent in union find and why i have used priority queue here priority queue will help us with the sorting part i don't have to explicitly sort those characters up because this priority queue will be of type min heap so it will implicitly do the sorting for us next i go ahead and create my union find object and i pass in str.length that means these many characters will be present in my union find algo then i go ahead and iterate over my pairs array i unify uh, the first element of my pair with the second element of my pair uh, using the union find unify uh, helper method that i have created and uh, moving ahead once the unification is done what do I do? I start the iteration over my input string. I go character by character. I extract the absolute parent of my current uh, L index. And once I have that parent ID, what do I do? I get the priority queue from the map. I add the current character 
into the priority queue and I update my map. Once this is also done, what do I do? It's time to build my final answer. So I again I iterate over my input string. I extract uh, the parent ID using my using the helper method get absolute parent in union find. And once I have that parent ID, I extract the priority queue from the map and I pull out the topmost element. Uh, what would be the topmost element? The topmost element will be the minimum one because we have created a min heap out of it and we set it over the string at the ith index. Once this is done, I simply cast the str character into a string format and return the answer. Now you will ask me where is the union find core algorithm. So let's go to coding decoded github repo and uh, this is one of the example that I have already solved and where I use the union find approach. Let's copy paste this template and let's apply it over here. So I want to show that show you guys that this template works everywhere. It's a generic template for forming groups and you can use it in any question where union find can be applied. So let's see the magic. Accepted. Tan -tan -tan. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.